welcome to vlogist <laughs> and i'm going to be attempting to vlog every day in august today is day one and we will see how it goes I'm challenging myself this is for myself and so <laughs> we will see um i don't know what the schedule will be like but i imagine they'll go up at night or the morning of the next day we'll figure it out as we go we're learning here so welcome thank you for watching if you watch and yeah happy vloggist i'm so excited okay so i'm going to scooters um that's where i'm local well not it's not local it's a chain but that's the coffee shop we have on this side of my town and so i always go there and they have a new uh the sun is shining today. They have a new drink for August and the proceeds of it go to Animal Rescue. So I was like, I have to go get that. Um, but we love scooters. And so I'm very excited to go try this new drink. It's a birthday party or birthday paw tea, like animal paw. Um, and it's just like, less than five minutes from our house. Really everything in this town is five minutes or less from our house. It's, a, I mean, you could drive the whole city probably in 30 minutes, the like outline of the city. So I'm very excited to get this drink and then I have therapy. So I like to plan when I get myself little treats. <laughs> and so, cause I don't leave the house a ton uh, since I work from home. So I, usually we'll get a drink on therapy day and then I will get a drink if I have to go do something in the morning and that's kind of how I do it so that I'm not going there every day because I love it and I would go every day <laughs> every day if I could afford to well I can't afford to but I shouldn't I'll go every day so oh good they're not doing construction they were doing construction oh there's a police officer up here they were doing construction up here because of, we have a quick trip coming. So if you're from Missouri or the Midwest, you know what quick trip is. It's a gas station and people just freaking love it. I don't understand the obsession, like, <laughs> but we're getting one and people have been like, campaigning for our town to get one. They've wanted us to have one for so long. And it was always like our population wasn't big enough to have one, but I guess it is now. And so we're getting a quick trip. So they're doing all this construction outside the entrance to our neighborhood because it's going down the street. So looks like that is done. If anyone cares. All right, we're almost to scooters. I'm home now in my office and I am um, getting my computer up and getting ready to go into therapy. But the person in front of me at Scooters paid for my drink and I was so flustered, I didn't even think about paying for the person behind me. And I go there all the time, so I'm gonna have to do that next time. I am obviously out of therapy. <laughs> I just did grocery pickup and I was the only car there, so it was wonderful. Sometimes our grocery pickup can get really crowded. Can you see behind me? It's all cornfield next to our Walmart on the side, on the pickup. And it just reminds me of this cute little grocery store in Oklahoma. And it is surrounded by cows. It has cows on both sides and across the street. And I'm like, this is my dream scenario to go to the grocery store and see farm animals every time. <laughs> and I just love that little grocery store. Every time I go, I have to visit it. Anyway, I love Oklahoma. If you're new here, you'll see very quickly. Um, Oklahoma City is my favorite place in the world. Anyway, anyhow, anyway. So, my therapy is done. It was so wonderful. Therapy is always wonderful. And now I'm going home so I can figure out lunch for Scott and I. Um, he hurt, got in an accident at work. Uh, middle of June he had a forklift go over his foot <laughs> and it broke in eight places and so this week he can start slowly 
barely cautiously weight bearing and then we go back in two weeks he's supposed to start physical therapy soon so he's still in a boot and can't really do a whole lot but he can do a little more than when this all first started so that's very exciting but yeah we will see they have redone this road over here by quick trip and now it is different than it used to be anyway got distracted so yes that's that's the plan now <laughs> Okay, so now I'm in my office, in my house, and I'm going to work on a couple of things, but one is my story I'm writing this week for the news. Uh, I work with my local news outlet here in my small town, and the there's a village outside of our city, but it's technically considered, like you would consider it that you lived in our town if you lived in this village it's like a population of 200 people and the mayor was up to some shady things and they had to have an audit it's a very long juicy story but the city had to be audited because of him and he was basically funneling money through the city illegally to two of his businesses and himself <laughs> and it all totals like over three hundred thousand dollars and the audit is 106 pages long, so I've kind of been like combing through it and getting the best parts. And so now I need to start working that into a story to go live this weekend. Um, and it's just been, it'll be an ongoing thing because he hasn't had, there haven't been any charges brought against him yet. But this went on for like seven years. And it's just insane that he got away with this for so long. When he was terminated, there was $87 left in the bank account for the city. <laughs> and it's just, the more I dig into it, the more crazy the story gets. And the there was no oversight. There was no checks and balances. There was no, like, some... They had, like, some, some meetings where they didn't do any minutes. And so these were the meetings that he ran those meetings, and they were the ones that decided... The city was going to use his companies for things and then one of his companies for example works with the sewer system so there's no record of how the city decided they were going to use his company there's no minutes for those meetings but while they were using his company they didn't have any of the proper checks done on the sewer system for this village and so they weren't meeting proper water codes the whole time that this was happening and and they weren't they didn't until he got fired and they quit using his company but it's just the most <laughs> insane story so um i love it though like I, I i think it's just so juicy and i have loved i never thought i'd love reading an audit uh, <laughs> but this one is is very juicy and quite comical actually so i need to work on getting that into a story and then i'm going to look into setting up a twitch scott really really wants me to have a twitch i'm still kind of on the fence about it like i want to do it i want to do i want to like read reddit drama and just like gossip and talk on it i don't necessarily want to do gameplay because i play i do play a bunch of stuff but i don't know i'm not an ex experienced gamer i don't know that i want to play play games for the world to see so, I don't know. I'm going to look into it today and see see what I think. Because I do enjoy, there are some Twitch streams that I really enjoy watching and being a part of. But they're more like community-based and then uh, game-based. So, we will see. But this is the plan for right now. Is to work on getting these juicy bits of this audit pulled and all in one spot. And start getting that ready to be a story. So my comfy chair, my Taylor Swift pillow, and my cup, my drink, and all of, yep, all of the dogs are in here. So yeah, this is what we're gonna do this afternoon.
Scott is trying to help me find my mic cord because he wants me to... I have to get it real close. That is not the right one. I don't if it's the right one. It works. Oops. I don't know if that would reach. It wouldn't. I did no. my job. The rest is up to you. Oh my gosh. We have too many cords. And animals. Right, Timber? So, I got my points for my story pulled. Scott is helping me find... I'm looking for a my cord for my Yeti mic because I'm going to toy with the idea of streaming on Twitch. Um, it seems like it could be very fun, but it also seems like it could be very daunting and scary. So we'll see, we'll see what way it goes. Scott's going to be my moderator and we'll see. I'm, that's what I'm probably going to do the rest of the night. I need to feed my animals, take a shower, and then I'm going to just figure all that stuff out with Twitch. It's a lot. And yeah, I will be back tomorrow. What do I have tomorrow? Some dogs I go see, some coaching. And I feel like there's something I'm, for <laughs> I'm forgetting. We'll be back tomorrow. Bye. Are you gonna say anything? Are you gonna show your face? I can't. You tried.